hello everyone welcome to another t-shirt design tutorial today i am going to make a carpenter t-shirt design as you can see here this is the text i am going to use and this is basically a like you can say universal text you can use this text for any kind of profession like this can be carpenter this can be firefighter this can be mechanic anything you want so i am just going to use that and then this is the previous videos vector i shared this in my group and these are some free vectors i am using this time and i am not giving the vectors because these are all free on free pick so if you just go to free pick and search like carpenter you will find tons of free graphics and you can simply use them just avoid this kind of phase vectors so this is a lumberjack vector but you can use that as a carpenter here so these are all free to download so i'm not sharing and these are some extra element i am using in this one and these are from different stock site but you can search like safety glass vector you can search like safety helmet vector you will find them and this can this is not going to be copyrighted because we are not using this as the main design we will modify them to combine our own graphic and this is a vector i created using that skull hand and skeleton hand and then this to access so if you watch my previous video which is on biker you will understand how to do this so first of all i'm going to keep it here then i need to add these elements to my this skull and let's start with the safety helmet first so i'm going to make it a bit bigger in size so this helmet should be kind of this in this position and that is good so let's try to just simply change the color so that we can see what is going on so here is one thing you need to understand that if the head is inserting inside the helmet then there should be some gap so let me show you so that gap i will create using my pen tool here so something like this then i will keep some area for the simply for the front part of the helmet but yeah i'm going to draw a shape like this and this is really important because to make it a bit realistic something like this and then i will just join it here in this position then cut it bring it here and then i'm just going to join it in the beginning so this is the shape i wanted so first step is i'm going to cut this shape then selecting this shape here this helmet shape open transparency and then press ctrl f here so ctrl f will paste it here but it is not doing anything because this is an yellow color we need to make sure that it is black so if we make it black it is going to hide that part of my helmet here as you can see and then that part is done let's select our skull part and then open transparency for it and here i am just going to draw a shape here again just to stay inside this area that we left something like this then bring here like come to this point and then go in this direction and again join it with this part so as you can see this is how the head part is also hiding make sure that it is complete black then it will become complete transparent so this is how it is looking and don't worry about anything else just change this color to black and it is going to work so you can see this is how we can easily make a graphic like this but for me i think this area is a, has a little problem that it is not perfectly making that shape so let's erase some part of it and i think that is good okay so this is the part of that one here let's make it a group so that we don't lose its position now i want to add this safety glass to its face and then i want to make it control x control f so here is a bit modification here and little modification that is this safety glass got some handles and i think it should be kind of this so this is the position i want it to be or maybe i'll make it a bit bigger in size so let's give it 
let's make it like this safety glass is going inside the helmet here from this area and that is good let's not worry about that i am just going to select my safety glass and then to adjust it manually like on nose it should be it should be placing like this now here is a bit adjustment i need to make that is so whatever we can see inside this shape inside this safety glass that should be hiding so i am selecting this shape this skull and helmet shape open transparency for it then i am going to take my pen tool make sure it is complete black and then i am going to draw a shape like this just staying inside the area of the sunglass just like this and for okay so for this area i will just go to this point bring it back here so something like this and then join it here so you can see this part is looking good there is a little problem that is with the handle of the safety glass and i don't need that so let's select this one and to be honest i'm going to just erase it i'm not going to keep it or using transparency or something like that so let's just erase it and i have to keep this part here the area that we kept for that so i'm going to do it in this way i will take care of that if i need to remove the whole thing anyway so this is how it is looking right now and don't worry let's just make it black so with black if it is looking good it is it should work for us so here is the area that is of the helmet that should be on top of the safety glass so if i just go to this transparency of the helmet i will find the shape here so this is the shape you can see this is the shape that we created inside the helmet so i'm going to copy this shape and then here on this safety glass i'm going to open transparency and then here i will make a i'm taking the pen pencil tool here and then i will draw a shape like this don't worry if it is looking bad so now i want to just place that shape i copied so press ctrl f and this is the shape of the helmet inside so i am going to select this two both and then i am going to minus front and minus front is going to keep only this shape so that is fine now let's copy this shape this one from here and then here if i select this whole group inside this shape i will find the shape of the glass press ctrl f here and then select this two again use minus front and it is looking kind of this so that safety glass is going behind the helmet or something like that and i think that is good for us it will work so for this area i will just make it i'm selecting this shape and then here i'm just going to draw a shape like this and that is going to show my safety glass handle here that is good so it is good don't worry about how it is looking if it is 100 percent perfect or not just this much will work for us so this is the shape that i wanted to create to make to give it a carpenter look and of course here is the hand with the expert i'm going to make it a bit smaller in size because to just to keep the proportions right and that is good okay so this is how it is looking right now let's group it together and then here i am going to use this wings here so let's erase that part i am going to just select everything from here make sure that it is a group and then i am going to use this wings wing here so maybe a bit bigger in size i don't want to like let's bring in our ruler so i don't want to go it above that area so let's just bring it down a little and that is good for us 
maybe we can come in this direction a little bit just to give it a feel of filling the entire area so i'm going to select this one make that the key object and then align and that is good i don't need this ruler anymore and this is how it is looking but don't worry we will take care of this so this is this two is my wings let's group them so that i can select i can align everything in the center position that is good and for this one this lumberjack sorry this skull with this one and the hand with x i am going to create a offset path for it so not minus 15 pixel maybe 10 pixel offset path let's see so 10 pixel is looking a bit bigger let's make it 7 pixel maybe it depends on how much bigger size you are working anyway so just click ok and then cut it so i'm going to select this one this wings group open transparency then press ctrl f here so this is how it is looking and here i need to do some modifications like let's make it march unite for this for now so march unite will make it complete one single color and that is good that is hiding the part of the wings but the problem is you can see there are a little area that should not be visible so this part and this part this part in this area the wings should be visible so how to fix that i have a solid shape here and i have copied that offset path so if i press ctrl f again it is going to paste in those offset path here let's make it red for now you can see i have two color here red and black it is not visible because of the transparency but i have two color here so let's unite so unite will make it like this now you can see here that i have a complete transparent area and a non-complete transparent area so anyway i have two shape i have to select both and then or i can press ctrl a here to select everything then just click on this divide option so divide will make everything divide <laughs> that is obvious and then if i ungroup it i can simply select this part of the graphics or whatever part i don't want i can select each and every part separately so this is how and now that area is visible from here so that part is good for me i don't think there is a anything needs to be removed so maybe one here but this small area is not real important anyway so let's just keep it now i have two color here one is red one is black i don't need both of them i just need the black shape so let's take our magic on tool and then click here it is going to select the red color how to become how to be sure you can see the fill color is red showing here that means it is selecting the red and when the red is selected let's press delete so it is going to delete everything that is in red color so okay guys before that let's just and this is how it is looking the shape is now distorted so let's merge unite it again and that is okay sorry so i made a mistake here maybe that was selecting the red and the black both so i have to make sure i'm selecting the red only so it is showing the red let's go to select same and then fill color it is going to select everything in red okay so don't worry just select everything and then make sure it is complete black and when it is complete black make it unite and so that is the thing here because we divided everything so it becomes the red minus the black part anyway so just select everything and make sure to unite them and then you can see we have that area maybe it becomes a bit complex but sorry about that if you watch it two three times it will be clear anyway so this is the part of the graphics i wanted to made here and then let's add some text these are some elements i wanted to use maybe i will use them but not right now so yeah this is a ribbon i want to use here i want to make sure that everything is staying in same area like i don't want it to be too much bigger in size so i want it in this area that is good now that part is looking good let's adjust it like i want to select this helmet part only i don't want to select everything so just this helmet okay then i am going to make a offset path same size 6 pixel cut it 
selecting this one open transparency press ctrl f so ctrl f is going to look like this i'm going to merge this part because merge unit is not necessary i will i will not use this part of the shape i just want this small part so that is good and now for this area this ribbon and the wings area i want to keep the wings on top because in this area there will be no text so there is no point of keeping keeping the wings invisible so i'm going to select my two wings create offset path same size cut it now let's use this one paste it here make it merge unite and then i don't need all this part i just need this small parts so let's use our eraser tool to erase it like this so you can see i just need this part and this part that is good you can also see here what is going on so that is how it is looking right now let's not worry about that and for this area this will let's play with the text right now so what i want to do here is i will create okay it takes years of blood sweat and tears i want to make this my focus text i want to give them a bit of focus so maybe i will use this one here i'm not sure let's try yeah this is looking good so if i use that here like this part it takes years of then blood sweat and tears i can maybe use there or let's just use it here it takes years of blood sweat and tears maybe something like this then to mastering my craft here there is no shortcut on top before you can earn the okay so this is how it is looking i am not sure right now but let's try so this is how it is looking right now okay maybe i don't want it like this i want to make it a bit bigger in size something like this so that i can place on or two object here okay so i am going to select this one clear everything i pasted inside the transparency and that is good and then i want to make it bigger so i am making it bigger because i want to place more text and i want to keep the graphic part a little smaller this time not to fit fit with everything so there is no there are no shortcuts i am going to use this too for this area and then to mastering to mastering my craft this is going to be used here so let's use a font called rosemary coded yeah this font i really like so i'm going to use this one all caps now this time i want to match it with the ribbon so first step is go to effect wrap and then arc so arc is a good but not 50 percent just a tiny bit now make sure that i am taking full area so maybe i can go a little bit further and this is how it is looking if you are if you think it is not perfectly matching with the curve you have to go to this properties panel go to window then activate properties it will appear here then here you will get the option to make changes in your any applied effect so i think this is good but it looks a bit off though so something like this in this position it is looking good for me and that is fine let's break it expand appearance then i want to create an offset path for my this text maybe a bit 10 bigger 10 percent 10 point cut it now select the ribbon and inside the shape paste it here so it is going to look like this i don't want any blockings here i want the text to be clearly readable so let's hide everything that is that are visible here so this is good and then of course for this area this is not important but my text is so i want to keep my text clearly readable so there is no shortcut to mastering my craft and i'm going to keep it here and then there are no shortcut i'm going to select this same rosemary coded font and then maybe for this one let's use 
previous font that I use in my previous video okay so this is how it is looking let's I'm not going to make it wider than the ribbon area and then I'm going to use this arc lower effect here so arc lower will help me match it with the curve of the ribbon so something like this I want to make it a bit longer in size that is fine so I am looking at this a space between this to s so inside the in the middle I want that same space so for doing that I need to modify these numbers and you can see this is how it is perfectly it can perfectly match so let's expand it this one here so there are no shortcuts there are no shortcuts i'm going to use it in this position okay so one more thing i can do here that is let's say i want to make this text a bit smaller this is not a very good way of course but yeah this is another way of placing your text this is good but this will just make it hard to read and i don't want that i want it to be clearly readable so that is this is how it is looking there are no shortcuts to mastering my craft it takes it takes years of now this one i am going to use this font it takes years it takes years of and this is the position i want to place it let's make it align with that text but i want to match with match with that curve so let's go to effect and then arc again but this time in this direction and this is good so let's fill the area that is good it takes years off and then i want to make a breaking point here and that is going to be something like this so i want to apply that same effect on that shape too and it is going to match with that that area so let's use something like this on that just to make sure that it is going to keep my text separate from the other graphics i will take care of that so it takes years of blood sweat and tears this part i wanted to give it a bit focus so i will use this one and then i will use it on this ribbon something like that same way so let's first of all align it with the text with the ribbon then i'm going to use that same arc effect not like that okay so this one i need to bit make it a bit smaller in size okay let's try to change the font yeah this font is looking good i can make it a bit longer this is not very perfect way to use a font but yeah still you can do that if it is looking good if it is fitting well so in this position i want to make it i want to make sure it is not going outside of that shape okay so i will need to take care of it here so i am just going to use my direct selection tool because i don't want that extra area i don't want that gap to be there okay so this is just some extra work anyway that is looking good let's use it for this area and it is fine so this is how it is looking let's not worry i'm going to use this in this position and then use that offset path but 10 pixel is a bit bigger for this area let's keep it something smaller then i'm going to use that same effect using transparency and then I will hide these small details of the graphic because I want to make sure that it is readable so okay so this is how it is looking and I think it is good 
okay so this these were the main part of the design let's group it now of course i want to make sure that everything is placed in a good position let's select everything and then i want to make sure that it is in complete center position okay so in this way it is looking good let's use this one i want to place it a bit higher there are no shortcuts to mastering my craft it takes years of blood sweat and tears before you can earn the right to be called a carpenter so this carpenter is my focus text let's make it as big as possible so that is this is how it is looking right now and that is good but i want to keep i want to make sure that it is not take it is not filling three lines so on the right to be i want to cut it right to be called so here i am using that barbara western font so at this time i am going to use rosemary coded okay i am again using that font here so let's not worry so this is how it is looking now i want to make sure that it is filling in this area and then make sure that it is not too long as a design and it is already being a bit longer that's not that's not a problem so i want to place it here okay so before you earn the right to be called i'm going to select this one make it the key object and then here i want to fill it with that curve so wrap and then arc yeah that is good in my opinion so that is good let's expand it and then right to be and the right to be called a carpenter so this one i want to use here and this time i will just use a opposite effect that is arc upper just like the previous video and that is good so this is how it is filling the area maybe that is a bit too much okay so that's good let's expand it so remember every time you're applying a effect you need to expand it and this is how it is looking i can fill that area with okay so let's use plus here not like this way in this way so this is just going to fill this area and that area and that is not the most important part it is being a bit bigger to be readable so that is good let's now select everything and i'm going to align the position so this is the region i made this point here and this one okay let's expand it okay before starting anything else let's expand everything and then every once it is expanded let's use let's do the extra work here okay so i can do one thing here that is i am going to select this wings only let's use some maybe six seven pixel that is fine offset path cut it now this time i am going to select this ribbon and on top of that i will place it merge unite and of course let's erase this part i don't need all of it so this is how it is looking and for this area i will just hide this part i will just hide this part of the skull here and that will make my text readable that is important not this one okay so this is how it is looking and it is good for me okay so in this area i will just use a shape like this 
something related to carpenter or things like that and in this one i don't want to use anything that is in very detail so i just want to make something silhouette style so that it becomes readable and then cut it selecting this group then inside that i am going to paste it here so it is going to stay with that shape so this is how it is looking now for this area i am going to bring it a little more up and then i am going to create offset path here same size cut it selecting this group open transparency paste it here make sure that you are merge doing merge and unite and it is this is how it is looking let's erase this part i don't need that part to be visible so you can see i have now extra area so it is becoming a bit less long than the previous one previous position so this is how it is looking there are no shortcuts to mastering my craft okay so shortcut is not really important text of my this one this text here so i am going to use that as online so this is how it is looking let's not use it barbaro western and this is how it is going to be arc lower of course and i i want to make it a bit longer so that it is it becomes a bit easy to read something like that okay so again i am looking at this gaps and i will try to adjust it with that that is good let's make it a bit longer and this is fine let's expand it so there are no shortcuts to mastering my crap it takes years of blood sweat and tears before you earn the right to be called a carpenter so this is my final graphic right now and i am going to fill some more areas so in this position it is looking a bit blank let's try to fill that okay is there anything we can use to do that maybe not we can use these tools okay so this is a good tool to be used because in a carpenter design this is really important okay so i am going to select everything make sure that it is complete black then i will just okay so not like this i don't need this i'm going to erase them and this is the shape now let's unite so unite will make it one single shape and that is what i need so i am going to paste it here in this position where it is a little bit more visible so something like this now it is important to show that what tool it is and that is it can be presented by this handle or this part of the saw blade or the blade so this is how it is looking let's okay so not like that i'm going to unite that too and then unite this part let's align it okay so we are inside a group so that is why it is not working but if we ungroup them then we can make them a group again make them a group now it is going to work okay sorry so it is not working but we can do that do it here we are not inside that group anymore it will work here so this is how it is looking now if i go to this option here this wings here inside that i will find this shape of the skull that we placed let's ungroup it then select this skull here copy it i'm going to select this one and this one then make them a group again open transparency 
and press control f here so this is how it is going to look and that tool is looking good for us that is fine and for this area i want to do one more thing this is looking a bit empty so let's use one more shape here so i'm using this shape a ellipse shape then i'm going to copy that using shape builder i will get these shapes okay so this is single shape let's sorry not single shape it is double shape but we selected that at once anyway so i'm going to erase i'm going to rotate this kind of this and then i will just erase this part of the graphic that is visible here so that is good now one more thing i need to do that is make sure that the size of the graphic so in comparison to my these graphics this size is good so i am going to make it a group then i will maybe rotate this position here and then i am going to make a pattern brush with it this is really cool and then with that pattern brush created i am going to okay so ellipse is already selected i am going to take a ellipse here just to make it look like this and then maybe i'll select this one to align it with the center position that is good but i want to make sure that it is so this area is looking similar and when it is looking like this let's apply this pattern brush on it so this is how it is looking right now and with this shape i'm going to expand it and this becomes the simple shapes only because we expand it now let's erase this part and then erase this part so this is how it is looking this is on shape and then let's just align it with the center position so this is how it is looking let's align it again one more time then group it so that i can simply place it in the center position so this is how it is looking now this is the final graphics for my this design i hope this will give you some advanced level idea of customizing and modifying vectors and if it is helping let me know in the comment section and i always check that if after making a final graphic if i can change the color with one click then it is a perfect one i can do it do whatever i want with it so let's keep it black for now and this is the first part of the video i will create another video of colorizing this graphic and i hope i hope it will help you guys understand so that's it for today's video thank you very much for watching my video see you in the next video guys have a great time thank you everyone